This is Nine News Perth with Tim McMillan and Emmy Kabansky. Welcome to Nine News. Tonight, a plea from the heart. Grieving friends unite to send a message after twin tragedies on our roads. A fire emergency at a school in the northern suburbs. WA's jobs blow. Unemployment heads to record highs. A backlash against cheaper fuel prices, while the RAC is under fire for offering a discount. A Perth mum's heartbreaking warning on a killer disease on the rise here. And a Docker star out of action again. Good evening. A group of young people is asking for your support tonight to stop inexperienced drivers getting behind the wheel of high-powered cars. They're grieving the death of mates in two horror crashes and say restricting the types of cars under 25s can drive will save lives. The laws already exist in other states, but here the Barnett government doesn't think it will help. 23-year-old Shana Cook has lost three loved ones to speeding this week. People just need to learn to slow down. So many people. It's, speeding is just taking too many lives. Two of her friends died in a horrific crash in Southern River. Then on Tuesday night, Jaden Parent was a passenger in this turbocharged car that crashed on Armidale Road. His injuries were catastrophic. Last night, his parents made the heartbreaking decision to turn off his life support. His loved ones are now convinced young people shouldn't be allowed to drive powerful cars. People think that they're invincible and think they, they can just get into a car and drive and think that nothing's going to happen. They've got to stop speeding because it's not right. People are losing their young ones, their family. Four other states have high performance bans for P-plate drivers. New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland and South Australia all restrict turbo or supercharged vehicles. The government says there's no evidence those laws would help here. The opposition disagrees. Certainly L-platers and P-platers and perhaps restrictions up to the age of 25 and if that's the evidence of where people are being killed, well then that's the area we should target. Uh, I know a lot of people won't like it, but frankly, too many young people are getting killed. Today, tributes flowed for Jaden, dozens laying flowers and praying for another passenger, 18-year-old Kyla Eastcott, still in a critical condition, undergoing a series of surgeries. Behind the wheel was 19-year-old Luke Offer. Luke Offer is the least injured of the three friends. It's understood he does have broken bones, but he's on his way to recovery. This morning he was discharged from Royal Perth Hospital. People, please slow down. You have to slow down. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Alice Pooley, Nine News. A OK, thank you, Rachel. A very close call for two drivers in the Pilbara. Police are hoping this video will help identify the driver of a white, white Toyota Ute seen overtaking a line of traffic on the northwest coastal highway near Roeburn before narrowly missing a turning car. Police say they're investigating dangerous driving. Anyone with information should contact them.